Hey, what's going on you guys? It's PJ and um, I'm really tired right now and very dirty. I, I need to take a shower. Stinky. But you know what? You guys, you guys all wanted me to make a guitar video. So you guys got it. You guys are going to get it right now. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to play that guitar. So yeah, this is my baby. It's a Fender player Stratocaster. It's called player because it's made in Mexico and it's cheap, but it's actually really good build. Um, I started learning guitar on July 1st and I've been learning with justinguitar.com. That is an absolutely like amazing source if you want to get into learning guitar. I did it two hours every single day for two months straight and like after two months I could say I could play the guitar. Now it's like uh, October something. So I mean it's been almost four months and like now I'm just like learning every single song like I could ever want to learn. I've kind of halted my progress because I'm not I'm not practicing as much and I'm just really jamming. But yeah, let's see what I can do, like if I can uh, make a beat with this or something. So essentially what I'm gonna do off camera right now is just play around with a bunch of um, bar chords till I get something that sounds good. You see like on FL Studio, what I would do is I would pull up the score and I would put my chords on guitar like this, so. You know, so like you can't really like create a bar like many bar chords within that area. You just kind of you have to go all throughout the fretboard, and um, I don't really like having scales memorized like that yet, where I can just create like chord progressions within the scale. So I'm just gonna keep playing random chords till I get something that sounds good. And just so you guys are familiar with the term terminology, a bar chord is when you take like this uh, finger right here and you apply a bunch of pressure onto all of the strings and then you create a shape with your other fingers to uh, create the chord and shape it. So for example, right here, this is the root note of G. So my finger would be hitting all these strings then I'd be playing like this. And this is actually um, what's known as an E shape bar chord, but it's a G major chord. So here's what it sounds like. And that's a bar chord. So I was messing around and this is what I came up with. And I think that sounds dope. Santa, baby. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few takes to just put this into FL Studio and then choose which one I like the most. And then um, I'll show it to you guys. I can't record myself recording it into FL Studio because it takes up... <laughs> So after a few takes, this is what I got. And that was actually the worst take out of all the ones I did. I just liked it the most because I made so many mistakes. Like, for example, I kind of like like forgot the rhythm right here, but I kind of like that pause. There's like lots of like swing in it. Like there's lots of like, I was like a little late to some things. I guess I was just nervous recording, but like there's like a real human element to it that I really like. So I'm gonna stick with that. Uh, just if you guys want this to be like a proper tutorial, like basically what I did is again, I came into here and see it's on none right now. That's because I'm on FL Studio ACO. But when I was on the Focusrite ACO, I chose the input that my guitar was in and I used a Mogami cable to record. That's why it's so quiet. Like there's virtually no noise. Mogami's really awesome for recording live instruments. And then I opened up Edison. I put it on input. I put on the record button. And then as soon as you start playing, it starts recording. And then I would go into here just like I do any loop, edit properties, temp Tempo sync, trim side noise, and then boom, you got yourself a loop. So now what I did is I just kind of took the chords and I went into, let's see, pattern one, and I figured out what scale I was in. I was in C sharp minor. And I just laid out all the chords as just like basic triads. Um, so yeah, you can see it's an F sharp minor to an E major to a B major to a C sharp minor all the way down to the end where it repeats with another F sharp minor at the end, just an octave lower. So that's the progression. I laid it out. I just think that's going to help me like lay out a bass line and stuff like that. And this is why like I'm so nervous about this tutorial. I really don't know what to do next. I've got guitar rig. I know people for like... Um, Tuts will use guitar, guitar rig, so I'm just gonna do that right now. So, boom, track, guitar rig, five. Should I be basic and do the Buzz Michael clean? 
Let's just see how that sounds. I think it's in jazz. Oh, that sounds so good. I might have to be basic. I'm gonna look at some other presets though. Stinky. So I tried out other presets. They sounded cool. I could tweak them to sound cool. But at the end of the day, I just really like that Buzz Michael clean. And it's my first time ever making a beat with a guitar. So I want to stay safe. I know everybody uses it. But I think I get a pass for my first my first time. So I played around with some test melodies, basically just sticking to the chords that I got. Um, but to be honest, like I really don't know what vibe I want to go for with this. So I'm just going to probably check out some drums from my new drum kit, Yuma Sacrifice, see if I can get like a vibe going. I think that one will work nice. Yeah, it sounds good with the uh, melody. Okay, something like that for the bass line's good. I'm gonna go work some more off camera. Santa baby, slip a sable on. So yeah, after that bass line, I mean, I just kind of got really inspired for like this minimalistic like pop type anthem. Um, so like that's kind of how I like directed the drums. All drums are from this Human Sacrifice drum kit, and I'll play you this soloed right now, and then I'll have Keanu put in the full beat right after this. So very bouncy, very simple. I had all these extra melodies. I actually don't think I'm gonna end up using them. Like it's pretty fire on its own. So yeah, Keanu play that B right now. PJ. So I think that came out way better than I expected. I mean, um, honestly, like I didn't think like I'd be able to like create something that good my first time ever like going to make a guitar beat. Um, I had some extra melodies I didn't end up using. I think it detracted from the vibes. I think for my first ever guitar beat, like the guitar had to be the center of it. Um, I think the bounce was awesome. It was just really like a nice like poppy type of anthem. And um, I think it came out fire. A full link to the a link to the. F Full beat will be in the description below up on my site if an artist wants to buy it. And yeah, I hope you guys um, learned something or if not, at least we're entertained. Peace.